What's poppin' everybody? This is Sable Fighter 4, and I've got a TCG match in the standard format. Back to the Dusknor Pijoto deck, Dusknor Spell Tag. And this is another deck that's gonna have to drastically change with the rule changes, since you won't be able to take advantage of that sweet uh, Professor Elm turn 1, you know, get the PGs, you know, you slow down significantly. I mean, they do give us the quick ball, and I guess we can replace perhaps the elm with that and get the PGs that way. But you know, it is it is going to be very different, as always with these new rule changes. Uh, decks will have to be constructed uh, completely from scratch. I would say you can't just change a few cards and then go at it. So let's see. I get to play first here, and my opponent opened up with this little fancy there. And this is going to be Don Fan, the Don Fan from Celestial Storm. You know, I've played against it a couple of times. A few people do try and use it, try and take advantage of its ability and the healing cards that go with it. I'm going to be honest, uh, this is a pretty junior matchup, you could say. Both of our decks are kind of, uh, you know, tier 3. Uh, it's not really anything, you know, uh, top tier level, you could say. But it's going to be a fun match. I kind of like it sometimes when we both use, when both players use sort of a tier three decks. It makes the game kind of interesting. Uh, you don't know what's going to happen. So I've opened up with my Mimikyu there, and it's a great opening Pokemon, probably the best, uh, since you can start attacking really quickly while you're setting up the Dusknoors and put damage counters in your opponent's field. So now it's his turn. We had a pretty solid turn. Got two Pidgeys out, got two Duskulls. I've got a supporter for next turn. Treasure, attach the Psychic Energy. So all good on our end. And it seemed, it seems he did get a bunch of stuff too with Oak. A Pidgey of his own. Another Fanfi and Slugma. Uh, that's probably going to be my cargo. So, okay. Let's see. Let's see what's up. Of course, Don Fat needs a lot more energies than... Does in order to work. It needs three. So discard the Cynthia for mysterious treasures, and I'm gonna get the Dusclops there. Um, I y y normally you don't want to discard supporters with stuff like treasure. You want your supporters, but in this case, I'm gonna use Lily. I'm gonna draw six anyway, so it is what it is. And Pejoto gonna give me Switch or the other Mimikyu. Uh, that's not going to be very good. My opponent probably isn't going to favor GXs in his deck at all. And uh, got three of the spell tags. I guess I'm going to attach all of them. Might as well. And uh, Mischievous Hand's going to start doing the little spread damage. Four damage counters total. So one goes to the Pidgey, the other goes to the Fanfi with the energy there. And, uh, you know, spread them around. Still. Couldn't get out the Dusknoor, but we got Cynthia for next turn. And my opponent played down the Deancey too, another typical Pokemon you would expect in a fighting focused deck. And he plays down the Lysander Labs. Now, this is actually a good stadium against my deck, since we're really just trying to favor the spell attacks, trying to make use of them, take as much advantage of them as we can. It does annoy me, so I have to get rid of that shit as soon as possible uh, the the shrine is what we need to get rid of that it's the only way since there's no field blower in standard so get out the dusk gnore. that's good first dusk gnore is out and couldn't couldn't remove that stadium couldn't get another pejoto or the shrine so all i can do here is just mischievous Mines again, mischievous hands, not mines. So four more damage counters on your field. As my opponent is slowly trying to power up the Don Fan. Um, and yeah, against any other deck, uh, tier one deck, tier zero deck, you could say Arceus. You know this Don Fan deck wouldn't be able to see the light of day. It just takes too much time to power it up. And I don't believe it's. DC compatible either, and you don't have a. We don't have DC anyway, but yeah, it, it's difficult. You got to make some sacrifices to power up that dude, and then you definitely 
gotta find a way to heal the dude and make use of its ability. Always survive with 10 HP. Otherwise, you're not doing much. But against my deck, I guess he will get a little bit of time to set up. So three fighting energies and smooth over to put a card on top of his deck. I mean, next turn, even if he evolves into the Pajoto, I'm going to knock it out uh, with the Mimikyu. It should be an easy prize. Uh, it's only half 60 HP. And there's the Shrine of Punishment top deck. Great. Get rid of that just in case. I don't want my dudes to be getting KO'd and not getting the Spell Tack Plus. And uh, let's see. Aramail, Pejoto, okay. Use the Titan Liza there. And I get one more Aramel draw. Give me some sort of rare candy. That'd be good. So Pidgey and Elm. Right. To be honest, I'm really just looking very forward to the Sword and Shield TCG set. Um, the new rule changes might be annoying, but when we get used to them, you know, it's finally going to be a fresh start, you know, fresh set, fresh new rules. It's going to make things interesting. And I'm curious which decks are going to benefit, which decks are going to sort of uh, uh, not benefit, let's just say. Uh, they won't like the new rules as much. It's going to be pretty interesting. The new rules is pretty much exactly how the rules were in the third generation the advanced format, you could say ADV, third generation, EX era, where I'm pretty sure you could play stadiums and items, but you just couldn't play the supporters. That was the limitation. And in DP, they went all out. So let's see, my opponent being kind of slow here. It looks like he's favoring uh, the black and white two uh, main character chick. I forgot her name, but this new supporter Pretty similar to the teammates, but I would say teammates is a much better card for the most part. Uh, this card lets you get three things, but you can't get anything you want. So, you know, for just the flexibility of getting any two cards, even though you get one less, I think the teammates, for the most decks, it's the better card to run. But we don't have that in this format anyway. Good old Primal Clash. Let's see, and uh, the Don Fan did come out finally, so he can start using Rolling Spin, 90 damage, and easy KO. And now I'm going to put the 4 damage counters on your guys. So let's put them onto the Fanfi there. If I get lucky, uh, hopefully I kill it before it evolves. That would be great. And promote the Dusknor. Now, to be honest, I have a little bit of... Uh, uh, an extra benefit in this matchup because of Dusknor's fighting resistance. Uh, if it didn't have that, you know, Donphan can get a one shot on this Dusknor with the Deancey down there. So, with the resistance, he basically comes close but just falls short. And that makes a lot of difference, trust me. Because we definitely won't be able to kill this Donphan in one shot for the most part. It's not possible with a deck like this. And it's got his ability either way. But, you know, if it, we're not going to KO it in one shot and it can KO us in one shot, then it's problematic. So, Rare Candy, get up my other Dusknor, get all of these guys out. For the Psychic Challenge, uh, like I always say, usually the decks that I use, not always, but a lot of the times, uh, is to correspond with the challenges so I get more tokens and I can get more packs online, you could say, without using, without redeeming codes and stuff. Um, especially, you know, in this kind of period where you're just waiting for a new set to come out, waiting for, you know, the new decks to kind of come in, make their way, and we can just experiment. I'm mostly just using whatever until that day comes. Just waiting for the set. Let's see. Play down another Lysander Lapse. It's a good thing I've got the Shrine of Punishment in hand again. And I'm glad you won't kill me in one shot, because I would be losing the spell tag benefit too. 
So a Shrine of Punishment once again, and let's go for the Adventure Bag. Only a one spell attack left in the deck. So let's put that on the Duskull. Makes the most sense, uh, I suppose. And uh, I'm actually going to go for the Mysterious Treasure. Discard the Pidgey. I don't think I'm going to play any more of those down. Uh, we're good with our drawing. And uh, Aramail. Psychic Energy. Not much choice there. And the other Pajoto. Uh, Linus Fisher Rod. Right. I'm going to wait for Duskrow to die first before I use that. And uh, yeah, we just have so much time in our hands that I can even start powering up the Pajoto. So there's 120 damage. Not enough for the KO, but you know, it is what it is. He was going to survive with his ability anyway. And the power, of course, of Dusknor comes from the extra 80 spread you can do between its ability and the spell attack tool. So since my opponent doesn't really have any way to get around it, I'm going to get that extra damage and kill the guys on the bench if everything else fails. So there's that uh, whatever the hell potion card from Celestial Storm. It's like they specifically made it to work with this Don Fan. Uh, but yeah, healed all the damage. So good for you. Give me a little bit of resistance. And... Mumu Milk as well. Okay, coin flip card. Got one tails, one heads, so 30 damage. I guess he's trying to save the Fanfi there, but I mean, if you kill the Dusknor, you're dead either way. I guess I'm just going to have to spend more damage counters on it. So Macargo setting up the top card again. And a roll and spin for the KO. So now, let's just put everything on Don Fan and, well, one on, one on Don Fan, what I mean, and just the rest on Fan Feet. Makes the most sense. And now, promote the Dusknor again. Psychic Energy. Right, right. Pretty straightforward match. Pretty straightforward. So let's use the Linus Fishing Rod, Dusknor back in the deck, and the Spell Tag. Yes, yes, I do miss stuff like Super Rod and the Rescue Stretcher. You know, I guess they're trying to make us use the Brock Supporter if you want to shuffle in energies and lots of Pokemon back in the deck. But, you know, for the most part, that card is just, it's just too much late game, and it's too much, you know, for the decks that dump a lot of stuff there really quickly. I mean, I, it's not my kind of card. The same with Palmer's contribution back in the DP days. I just didn't find opportunities where I could say, hey, this card makes sense in this deck. Just Super Rod is better for the most part. So got another Dusknor out, and uh, let's see, Professor Elm got the last Pejoto line over there, and that's it. It seems my fourth Duskull is prized, and we're getting the prizes slowly here. Hopefully I see it before the Dusknors die. So Psychic Energy on the Pejoto, and going to go with 60. 60 damage. Old school. So he doesn't have much going on besides this Don Fan. Um, he needs to get like another basic down, basic attacker, like another Fanfi going. Uh, it seems the logical thing to do. I mean, that Don Fan isn't going to be able to last forever. So he's taking taking his time. Uh, for me. We got the Pijotos, we got our Dusknors. I mean, I've got the new, I guess, that can attack too. And even the Pijoto. So there's Macargo. I guess he's thinking one car, what card to put on top of his deck. You've decided. And 
And what else? What else are you going to do? Any supporter you're going to play? So he's thinking hard. I mean, if he doesn't heal, you know, the the Don Fan is going to get KO'd next turn. And he didn't. He just went for the attack. So pretty simple for me. Let's put... You know what? I'm just going to hold on to the Psychic Energy. There's nothing for me to attach to anymore. Like, I don't want to start putting them on another Pidgeotto. So let's just use a bunch of arrow mails, get the rare candy, get all the stuff. Be a little bit careful because I don't want to deck myself out. And a Psy Power, just 120 damage. There goes the Don Fan. And get my third prize, Duskull. So now he's going to use the Deancey there as a sacrifice. I don't know, dude. I think I would have just uh, sacrificed the. Macargo, but I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I should have this game in the bag, but I got the karate build. I guess you can use that for Donovan to attack quicker and use the Rosa to get those cards. Rosa, that's her name. Macargo smooth over to place a card at the top, and he's just going to have to pass the turn. He can't really do much else. So straightforward, another Psy Power. And, you know, even if he gets the Donphan out, I just have too much of an advantage. I mean, he can't really uh, play over the spell tax. You know, if he kills the Dusknor, he's going to get that 80 damage either way. And all I got to do is just target his dude, his Donphan, and he, he's not going to escape the KO this time. So even with full HP... If you kill the Dusknor, you're also going to kill yourself. I'm uh, going to get rid of my shrine for the dojo, fighting dojo there. I mean, all of the extra damage you do, I guess it would have mattered maybe against some GX Pokemon. But, you know, for me, since I give one prize, I don't care too much. You know, we've got the resistance, we've got high HP with Dusknor. It just works out as a better matchup for me. You know, this... This Donphan can't do much against Dusknor. So there's his KO. And I'm going to put the damage counters on Donphan. I didn't need to put all 80. Just 70 would have been enough. But I guess we're going to put all of them. Doesn't matter. Uh, we'll have the game pretty soon. And, uh, you know, like I've said, not really a super pro game, you could say. But... To be honest, this Dusknor, if you play against the Arceus decks, it cannot win no matter what. No matter what you do, you cannot win against the Arceus decks. It is impossible. Absolutely impossible. So, you know, just be aware of that. So, last turn, he's going to... didn't quit, at least. He didn't surrender. He's going to go for one last smooth over. And I'm going to finish him off with Dusknor next turn. Uh, he's going to use that Janine... But it doesn't matter what you do. You cannot escape the beating. And uh, this is going to be the game. Pretty much. I wonder what he's going to... If he's going to play anything else that he got. It's got the Ditto there too. Nevertheless. Custom Catcher. Yeah, it, it would have been something, I guess, if you tried to get some of my guys stuck. But I've got... A low retreat, so it wouldn't matter anyway. So let's evolve into the other Dusknor for the challenge first before I finish you. So GG. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And thank you guys for watching as always. Say so I roll finding four. We'll say.